September is National Preparedness Month, a time to plan for any number of possible emergencies. SUNUP's Austin Moore shows us a way to gear up without ever leaving your house. Disasters can happen on a grand scale, such as tornadoes wiping out entire neighborhoods. Or they can be highly localized, such as a single home fire. Regardless, we can take time now to make sure the days after a disastrous event are as painless as possible. It's not enough to say, yeah, I'll get ready someday. The, the most important thing is to get ready today. Now we're standing here, it's blasting hot, we're in the full sun. Uh, that doesn't mean that today is not a great day to get ready for a disaster because any day is a great day. We followed Oklahoma Cooperative Extension's Gina Peak as she helped a local homeowner build a disaster preparedness kit out of items already in the home. And what we also suggest is that you include canned goods with a lot of liquid in them. So, for example, if you have fruit, mm -hmm that is canned in its own juice, that's a really great fit because if you're thirsty, you can drink that juice. A lot of the stuff that you need for a kit, such as food, clothing, a basic first aid kit, you probably already have in your home. So the idea is to look through your own house, find out what you have already, shop in your own home basically, put those things together in a kit. And here's some salmon. Perfect. Tomatoes are full of, of liquid. Yep, I mean, they're they one sure of the are. best sources of veggies for, for uh, liquids. I have, do you want me to pull up three days worth? Yeah, absolutely. I see there's a can of soup there with a pop top. Yep. Now what's important about that pop top is that you don't need a can opener to open that. Right. Whereas with these other canned goods that you're handing over, you're going to need a can opener to get right. these open. So that's something important to think about. You want to be able to have enough stuff to help you survive for three days. So you don't have to be comfortable, you're not going on vacation, but you're going to need a change of clothes for three days, you're going to need something to eat for three days, any kind of specialized medications, anything you require for three days, and uh, some kind of um, a weather radio to help you stay alert. Peak suggests that we change out the contents of the kit twice a year. At the same time, we reset our clocks for daylight savings time, putting in fresh foods and clothing appropriate to the coming season. This is where I would probably just grab this little container okay. and go. Now that's something that we'll talk about. One of the things that you might consider is, let's say there are a few things that you can only grab at the last minute. Mm -hmm. For you, prescription drugs might be one of them. Let's say you don't have three days worth of medicine that you can set aside. You can identify those three things and grab them at the last minute. So this might be one of them. Mm -hmm. Cell phone and cell charger might be one. Okay. And then cash. Ah, okay. Okay. So the idea is that that the very last moment you would grab something that you really can't put in your kit. Peak is challenging Oklahomans statewide to build a disaster preparedness kit for each member of their family. You can go to the county office and get a pledge, which is basically a list of all of the stuff to put in a kit. And then, once you've created the kit, you'll sign a certificate. We're going to count the number of certificates that we collect, and the goal is 500 by the end of this year. You can also get a copy of this pledge on the SUNUP website, sunup.okstate.edu.